Would you like to say something? You want to say a few words? Hey everybody, welcome back to the Fleshman Farm. I'm so overwhelmingly excited for what we got in the mail today. So without further ado, let's get on to this and see what we got. halfway done and I'm not gonna lie my hands hurt really bad this thing goes together with almost no hardware it's all like snap on plastic so far super good material but my hands really hurt <laughs> one of the worst parts is it does not come with directions so as a man I'm sitting here with all of these pieces out thinking should I try to put this together without looking up any directions no. Nope. Mm -mm. Went online, looked up a YouTube video, helped out tremendously. I'm glad I saved myself like three hours and threw my ego out the window before uh, I got frustrated with it. So this is what we got so far. We got all nine cages pretty much set up. And after dinner, it's going to be framing up the actual uh, cage, and then we'll kind of talk about what it is and what we're doing. So stick along because this is going to be a wild adventure. Ready? That's good. Is it good? That is so good. Alright, let me try it. There you go. <laughs> you guys see Put <laughs> the world know. Clean plate club. All right, everybody. Dinner was good. Took a little break. Talked to Emily. And let's finish this thing and get it put together. And uh, yeah. All right. Well, everybody sit down, get comfortable, and uh, we'll get this thing done. Sweating. This thing is not. Um, it's. Pr I mean, it's pretty easy to put together, but you definitely gotta like double check everything. Everything just pops into place with little plastic pins. Um, this is what they look like. So each one of those holes, every other one, has a little plastic pin that you just gotta push down on, and it snaps it. And they go the whole way around. So, you gotta make sure they're all snapped in. Maybe this should be it, my thumbnail. Yeah! Me too. <laughs> so that's the real thumbnail? No, this is the thumbnail I'm trying to get. 
back to the mystery cage. So, these little watering dishes, like watering cups. And down here is the water nickel. And you have to put the watering cup right underneath the water nipple. Well, this is ridiculously hard. <sighs> really hard. I don't know if you know, but my husband works on 18 wheelers. So if he says this is hard, he means it's hard. This is hard. Alrighty, this is how far we got. That's how much we have left, just the trays and one more of these to make. But before that, I got something even better. Do you want a cookie? Hmm? You want a cookie, Tawny? Last one. Tell him. I know I want that cookie. The half moon. See ya. Alright everybody, have you guessed what it is yet? I hope so. Showed enough of it. <sighs> this, ladies and gentlemen, are our crab cages. And there are nine individual cages. And this is a really cool system because you can actually build onto this. So we bought this system with nine cages. It's, you can get a one layer, two layer, three layer, or four layer. So we got the three layer and this holds between. All right, so like I was saying, this cage can hold 45 to 63 quail. All right, that is five to seven quail per cage. Um, these cages, <clears throat> these cages are not very big individually, if you look, they are not very big, you probably see better, and if you, you can see it here real well, I mean the height of this is, at the thick part where the slant is, it's, it's a little bit over my hand width, but back here it's easily my hand width, so this floor slants down. And this is the poop tray. So this is where the waste is gonna collect. And you slide this right out, clean it, put it back. All right, this slant, when they lay their eggs, are gonna come out to right here, right under the feed tray. So we'll be able to collect the eggs every day right there. Up here, you have the feed troughs, which you fill up. You put this screen over top of it so that they don't fling the food everywhere. And right here's a five gallon watering bucket. And it's got the hose going down and inside each one, you have a watering nipple. So pretty cool setup. Um, even the lid, I mean the lid's cool. You just flip it up, you can lift up and out and it kind of sits on the tray. And then when you want to close it, you go and it falls in. And you just clip it down. So, super cool setup. And if you need to, these are really easy. You just tilt them up, pull them out, tilt up, tilt up, put it in. So, super easy setup guys. This Sunday, we're going all the way to Binghamton, New York. We're trying to get 40 eggs and probably close to a dozen of adult birds. We're getting all types of species, hopefully. Definitely going to get the Japanese, also known as the Katermix quail. But they got some really cool breeds like snow quail, tuxedo quail. Hopefully we're getting button quail, which if so, 
one of these cages, I have seen some um, hardwire cloth that is quarter inch mesh. So we'll just uh, hardwire cloth the inside because button quail are very small. So that's the plan, guys. Stay tuned. I hope that this was fun. Uh, we're definitely going to be kind of over the time reviewing this together with you guys. So stay tuned if you want to see this awesome cage that is fairly easy to put together, but it comes with everything. And now these are a little bit pricier. This specific unit costs around $400. Um, but once we move, we'll be more interested in building our own uh, quail cages and, and systems and stuff like that. Just for now, trying to do it in our spare bedroom. Yes, guys, we are in our spare bedroom. All right, and we're trying to do this, so we're trying to make it as healthy and give it the most likely to success as possible. So we went out and bought this cage. So we're gonna see how it goes and we're gonna review it over time and see how it holds up. So stay tuned. We're gonna be taking a trip this Sunday. We're gonna be getting quail. It's going to be awesome. This is gonna be a multi video sequence of just putting this together, getting the quail, getting the eggs, hatching them out, doing meat birds, getting to harvest the eggs themselves and try them. I mean, this is gonna be just an awesome, awesome journey that we're going on. So stay tuned. If you like this content, please subscribe. Please like the video. Leave a comment if you have anything that you'd like us to see or if you think that our videos just need a little extra something or if you want to see something specifically, please, please, please comment, like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you are notified when we post a new video. So I appreciate you guys watching and coming along. So this is our quail cage. I hope you guys are excited as I am because we are pumped. And like always, Like Emily always says. How do you like a belly button? See ya.